Hello from London, Gareth here and it's Quick Tip Tuesday. The post has arrived here at How To Get Fluent Towers. Now, we're going to have live on air the first for this channel unboxing. What's it going to be? Well, you know that this is a high tech channel if nothing else. So let's have a look. What is it? Here it is. It's my timer. Why have I got a new egg timer, you might be wondering. Well, it's for using the Pomodoro technique. That's to say, have a timer counting you down when you're in one of your language study sessions. I find this a hugely efficient method of increasing my productivity. The reason I think is that it gives me a set framework within which to get something done. I usually set the timer to count down for 30 minutes. You could do 45. Some masochists go for 90. But the point is, I think it decreases the cost of getting started. It helps you overcome that resistance, which I seem to feel whatever productive task I want to get started at. I set the timer. I know that in just 30 minutes, I can do all those other things which suddenly seem a lot more attractive than my session uh, studying my language. If something pops into my head that I need to do, I can just jot it down. I know it's only 30 minutes, 25 minutes, and then I'll be able to do it. Check those emails, do that suddenly attractive pile of ironing, and so on and so forth. It makes it easier to get over that initial resistance in the first five or 10 minutes of study. What I often find then is that when the alarm bleeps after 30 minutes, I'm already into the flow of things and it's much easier to continue working. And I do keep working for 45, or longer. It really is a great productivity technique. You may think, well, why can't I just use my phone? You can do. The thing is though with the phone that there are other distractions there. Notifications will be coming in, it will be bleeping, and it's just not quite as efficient. I've been back with the phone for the last few weeks because my old timer had broken, but I'm glad now that I've got a new one and I shall be putting it to good effect later on today. Do you like the Pomodoro technique? Have you found it an effective way to increase your productivity? Or do you have other tricks which help you to get over that initial resistance when some of that study, which we need to do in our language learning if we want to accelerate our progress, needs to take place? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, hit that like button, and thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Gule gule.